welcome back to New Day Vlogs. Happy Motivational Monday. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. Um, we had a pretty good weekend. Let me tell you what's been going on really quick. We ended up having to go and buy a new refrigerator. Um, our refrigerator, I'm not sure how old it is. My mom gave it to us whenever she bought a new re refrigerator because our old one was even older than this one. So we've really only just had pass me down um, refrigerators. Um, when I bought this house several years ago, it already came with appliances and um, the refrigerator that it came with was just really outdated and old and so she upgraded us to a new side-by-side -side one, but she had had it for at least, I'd probably say, 12 years and then gave it to us. And it's run just fine. It's still working. It's still running, but it's pretty much on its last leg now. Um, it started leaking in the floor um, under the freezer part of it. We thought at first maybe it's the drip tray, maybe it's the defrost. My husband seems to think it's the defrost. Um, something's going wrong with it but um, yeah we just decided that instead of paying someone to come out and fix it or hopefully even try to find the parts for it we would upgrade to a new one so I went to Lowe's this weekend and we got a new stainless steel one and I'm super excited you guys it will not be delivered until the 26th of March but I will be sure to show you guys that when it comes in um, but up until then we have been working in the kitchen this weekend on cleaning behind the refrigerator. Um, we did get a lot of the dust bunnies and stuff up, but I've got to mop today and get that taken care of. Um, and I have a paint project that I need to work on behind the refrigerator as well. I had started painting there oh, a while back and I never finished it because my husband didn't end up moving the um, refrigerator for me to be able to paint behind it. So it doesn't matter. I told you guys in the previous videos that we're going to be painting the kitchen gray. So I'm actually going to today clean behind the refrigerator and I'm going to mop the floor and I'm also going to just go ahead and paint that wall and some of the baseboard trim so that we can get that um, project out of the way. So that's my motivation today and I've got some dishes I got to do as well. Let me show you what we're going to get started on. Okay guys, I'm in the kitchen right now. This is what it looks like behind the refrigerator. This, um, let me just say that this weekend my husband installed a new water line that goes to the refrigerator so that we'll have that ready for the new ice maker on the new refrigerator. We used to have one connected to this fridge, but unfortunately it was leaking and so we just, re we just went ahead and took it out years ago because this refrigerator's ice maker was also not working properly. So we've never had an ice maker. Can you believe that? Uh, we are so excited to have a refrigerator that actually has an ice maker and water dis uh, dispenser. But anyway, this wall is what I need to paint, and let me tell you what kind of a nightmare this is. This cabinet, okay, so I did not paint this or prime this, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't. I didn't do it because it was behind the refrigerator, and I had to get a step stool, and I just hadn't got around to it. So let me explain what's going on. That cabinet right there, um, from the floor up, was 66 and a half, or 66 and three quarters of an inch, from the top from the bottom of the floor up into the bottom of the the cabinet unfortunately they make refrigerators nowadays to fit sizes 68 inches or above so because that was 66 and a half our refrigerator will not fit there so we ended up having to cut the bottom shelf out of this and actually take up take up the cabinets just a little bit here's a question for you guys my husband thinks that we should just go ahead, take off this middle support that's in the middle here and those two little hinges because now the doors won't fit and also put a board underneath here to make another shelf. Um, he wants to make an open face shelf that actually can store stuff. It'll be a smaller cabinet but we won't lose all of our cabinet space. We still have plenty of cabinet space. The other option is just to take off this end, whole end piece and take out that middle piece and just leave the roof part. We wanted to take off that wooden part, but then it would be such a pain to disconnect it from this part of the cabinets. Back in the 60s, they had this sheetrock that's above the cabinets um, because they didn't have tall cabinets back then in, well, in these ranch style homes. So unfortunately, we have sheetrock there and we cannot afford to get that taken out and get new cabinets that are taller and so forth. So we're working with what we have to make it look fabulous and much better. 
but I wanted your guys' opinion on should we lose this middle piece and the end piece and just leave this in open space with just the roof part painted white and then the refrigerator pushed back into it or do you like the idea of putting an actual um, bottom shelf on here that goes all the way across taking out that middle support piece and having an open faced shelf with no doors maybe for like like small storage of candles or possibly like speakers. You could have speakers up there for your echo or your music or whatnot to play in the kitchen. Let me know your guys' opinion on that. I would love to know what you think and get your feedback because right now we have about two weeks before that project can get done. So I'm just curious on your thoughts. But today we are going to be mopping that floor. I am actually going to wipe down the um, side of the cabinet I need to wipe the back of the refrigerator off. As you can see, I started on it, but you can see refrigerators get dirty underneath. And so this just needs to be cleaned off. The whole back of it does. And so mopping, I'm going to paint the, the baseboard here behind the refrigerator. And I want to paint all behind the refrigerator all the way up to possibly I'm not sure about this yet. Um, I'd like for my husband to cut this piece of board that goes behind the cabinets halfway up off. <coughs> so I'll probably only paint maybe up to this line um, until I figure out what I'm going to do about this. So either way, I'm going to paint that today and just clean up this area and again do some dishes because I need to get that started. So. Let's get started today with Motivational Monday, and I will see you at the end of the video.
it is a medium based one coat with primer already built in and the color which I think you can see on the top right there it's actually called still gray so beautiful color can't wait to see what it looks like up on the wall this is the color we'll be painting all of the kitchen so let's get started I know that the camera didn't pick this up last time, but I did end up painting half of this shelf up here, this wood. Um, I think what we're going to do is just maybe, instead of taking out that wood that connects to half of the other cabinets that goes underneath, see you can see to the back of the cabinets that this wood goes all the way under. Instead of cutting that and possibly risking putting it or cutting into the sheetrock, I think what I'm going to do is, for now, to make it look appeasing to the eye, I'm going to go ahead and just 
paint it halfway up to where the bottom of this cabinet is to where you know it's only painted to the bottom half and then when we get ready to if we put a new shelf in there I think I might actually take some pretty maybe Wayne's coating or some kind of boards that's thin and put in that cabinet if it's open faced cabinet if we just decide to get rid of it all together on the sides and just leave the roof then I'll probably just paint the roof leave it white but we will see but right now to make it more appeasing to the eye I went ahead and just painted this top portion all the way up to the underneath of the cabinet so let's put the second coat on and finish this project up and then I can take the tape off and we will be done with this behind the refrigerator painting session let's get started painting I did two coats of white brand new white paint on the bottom trim there and I've done two coats on the wall it's drying right now and you can see where I lined it up up here underneath let me see if I can zoom in a little bit all the way to the corner edge of that cabinet so depending on what we do if we decide to put some kind of like beadboard or something really pretty back there just for decorative depending on if we keep the cabinet will depend on what I continue doing from here um, so we will we'll see what happens but you guys stay tuned and yep that is it for cleaning and painting today
Okay guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for checking out this Motivational Monday video and I hope that it inspired you to get some projects done if you have some stuff to do around your house. And I will see you in Friday's vlog. I hope that you guys have a great rest of the week. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then hit that subscribe button so you can be notified for new videos that's coming up. Um, and also a big thank you for all of my subscribers that have stick with me all this time. And also for the ones that are new to my channel, welcome to New Day Vlogs. I'm so super happy to have you on our channel. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a great rest of the week and I'll see you then. Bye.